Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you the 2020 Newmar Dutch Star. Now, listen up because I'm going to tell you a lot of good stuff today. So, first of all, I'm going to feature both the Spartan and Freightliner chassis. So, I'm going to go over Spartan steering column, and then I'm going to go over Freightliner's all new uh, Drive Tech technology, which they've taken all the features that you had on your dash and pulled them into the steering column. So they've made it more automotive-like. Uh, you're gonna love it. So I'll feature that, plus I'm gonna do the 4369 floor plan and the 4081. Now, those are two of the most popular floor plans in the Dutch Star line. The 4369 has historically been uh, really well received and then the 4018 was very popular in the Dutch Star floor plan. They've tweaked it just a little bit so they've changed it to the 4081. So I'm going to cover both of those floor plans. So you're going to love this video. It's going to be packed with tons of information for you all. One of the things that I really like about Numar, they, they do some special things that, I, that not all other manufacturers do. First of all, notice how they install their windshield. So just like the automotive industry does, it's nice and sleek and just gives us a really nice finish. As we go around the corner, we have our chrome convex exterior mirrors. Those are internally controlled and um, heated so you can defrost them. Then right here on the side, you'll notice that we have a little bracket. So this is for our, this is an option. We always put it in at National Indoor RV Centers because we like to have the option to uh, fly our American flag or the National Indoor RV Centers flag. Um, but this is kind of a fun uh, option that you can put in that's pretty, pretty low cost. Then we've got our side view cameras. So on this Dutch Star, we've option, optioned in the 360 camera. So you're going to get a bird's eye view of this whole coach while you're going down the road. One of the things that I'll show you while I'm driving, probably one of my favorite features because I can see all around the coach. It's fantastic. So you're going to see your first camera right here um, at the top of the coach and then I'll show you the cameras as we go around the side that all come together to give you that bird's eye view. This is a beautiful Chatham exterior paint. Also I wanted to note that Numar allows you to do some special paint colors. So you have to stay with the Dutch Star graphics, but for a small fee, you can change one paint color or all four. It costs the same amount. But Numar did give us four beautiful selections for the Dutch Star to choose from this year. We have our first marker light for the passenger side of the coach. And then we've got, we put on the stainless steel package on this Dutch Star. And I love how they kind of gave us the extra little rivets. Um, I think those would probably help with slipping too, so I think it looks nice. Another feature for 2020. Then we've got the 4369. So for those of you that have watched my videos in the past, you know what this means. But um, for those of you that are new to RVing or just learning about them, the 43 is the length of the coach. I believe this is actually 43 feet, like 9 inches. And then 69 is the floor plan. So. I'll also be doing the 4081, so that's a 40 foot coach, 81 is the, the, is the floor plan. Now we have three ways that we can get into our coach, obviously we can use the key or the key fob and we can unlock. This key fob also will unlock all of our baggage doors and lock them as well too, which that's always a nice feature. And then we can put in our own unique code here. So if you've got a service tech coming over, the grandkids coming over, your friend, you can give them the code to get into your coach if you're not there, if you'd like to do that. So that's a, a nice feature that we have. Moving on, the Dutch Star comes with the 365 Michelin tires. Now this is a, a big deal. So we've got a nice wide tire that's gonna give us a smoother ride and we've got the aluminum Alcoa wheels, so you're not gonna have to worry about polishing those. And then, something that I really wanna to talk to you about is Retroband. Um, it's an exclusive product that National Indoor RV Center carries. It is a potentially life-saving device. Something I would definitely have on any coach that I was taking my family in. It's basically a spare within your tire. Go watch my video and I'll send you the link to that at the end of this video. 
The Dutch Star has a 19,000 pound front axle, so that's gonna give you plenty of cargo carrying capacity. Now remember, you always want to load your heavier items towards the drive and tag axle of the coach. Another thing that Newmark gives us not, that not everyone else does is this steel plate. You can kinda hear me tapping on it. It's right here behind your front tires, and that is gonna protect your fuel line. So you, there's a lot of road debi debris and items that will get flung up into that area, so that's gonna protect your fuel line. Here we have our dual fill for our 150 gallon diesel fuel tank. So on the passenger side and on the driver's side, we've got our first docking light, another marker light. So we're gonna move on to our first storage compartment here. I want you to notice how big and tall this is. Now we've got our optional refrigerator freezer that we put in to this Dutch Star. This is bigger, it's 3.77 cubic feet this, this year, so a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna snap that up. Notice that, that comes out nice and far, so it's gonna extend beyond your slide when, it, when it's extended. And then you can make this a refrigerator or a freezer, so if you're just tailgating, you may wanna just have drinks. Um, if you're going cross country, you may wanna take some frozen meats or ice cream. Um, so you can just set the temperature to what you need. Now the Dutch Star gives us a ton of basement storage space. So I'm gonna open up the three compartments. You can kind of see them all at once, and then I'll go through each compartment. So this is our first compartment. We don't have a pass-through tray here. So a couple things I want you to notice just off the bat. First of all, look how tall these baggage doors are. So they've given us two extra inches this year, which I think is a kind of a game changer. Really big deal for all of you that are um, full-timing or spending a lot of time in your coach. So we've got a 30 inch opening here. When we go inside the coach from ceiling to floor, we're about uh, 30, just a little bit, 32 and a half, maybe almost 33. And then when I go back, we have 19 inches chassis rail to the, to the ground. From chassis rail to the bottom of the slide tray is 14 and a half inches. So the first compartment is a pass-through compartment. We didn't put the tray in, so that gives you a little bit of extra height. Um, and then we've got the extra floor tiles. Numar always gives you, gives you those just in case you ever need them. Second compartment here, we did put in the manual pass-through tray. So look how nice and wide that is, how far it extends. And then we've got the uh, central vac package here. And then we have another pass-through. Now this isn't a pass-through, this is actually just goes halfway. But that's a nice big space as well. Then we've got our central vac here. So that we can plug that in down in the basement. Clean up everything down in the basement and then obviously it's in the house as well. We've also got the controls for the Girard awnings, another 110 outlet here. Great storage. So we've optioned this Dutch Star with the two Girard Nova awnings, plus the power window awnings and the power entrance door awnings. So gotta love that you don't have to pull the stick out and find the awning and pull it down. So they're powered. So you just hit the button inside and out comes the window awning. The window awning, I like having that out. That's something that you can leave out when you leave your coach, whereas I probably wouldn't leave out my Girard awnings. So it's nice to have along with the Girard awnings and the power window awning package, we get the slide toppers with the nice brushes that brush off those slide, slides when they come in. So I'll show those later when I've got the slides extended. So now I'm ready to take out my Girard awnings. I can use my remote control. So you've got different channels. You can, if you put it on zero, you can bring out both awnings together at the same time. Channel zero will bring them both out at the same time, or you can choose awning one or awning two. But I like to bring them out both together, so I'm just gonna get to the zero and hit out. 
So I love that they've got that extra Nova pitch that's gonna give me extra shade. I also have here on my remote, I can turn on my LED lights. So I've got LED lighting all along my awning, which just gives a great fill at night. So now that I've got my Gerard awnings out, the LED lights are on, I've got the freezer ready to go with drinks, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my exterior entertainment center. So look at that huge 43 inch Samsung TV and Bose Sam bar that we get. And then we've got our 110 outlet, two receptacles and two USB outlets in here as well. Another great feature that Numar has given us is we can uh, bring that TV out and adjust it to where our guests are or away from the glare of the sun if it happens to be coming in. So here we have our marker light. We have another camera which contributes to our 360 view that we're gonna have. We've got our security light. So you've got a, a button above the cabinet in the driver's seat and then in your bedroom um, where you can turn that security light on. If you feel like you hear something at night, throw that light on or if you're out here with your guests, you can have that on as well. We also have the dual pane tinted frameless windows throughout this coach so that just gives it a nice sleek look. So before we move on, I just want to talk a little bit about Newmar's construction. First of all, they built this coach like you'd build a house. They have hung walls, they're insulated, it's not a laminate wall, and then they do a fantastic paint job. So they have the full paint masterpiece finish. It has five stages of cut and buff and three coats of clear on this coach. So as you run your fingers down the side of the coach, you feel no transition from one color to another. One more storage compartment on this side. We've got the great pegboard, so that's gonna allow us to hang our tools. And then they've given us the shelves this year as well. So we can put, you know, extra DEF in there, oil, gloves, whatever you need. It's just nice, they give us that space. Behind that is gonna be your fresh water tank and your gray and black tanks. So we've got our second docking light for the passenger side of the coach. If you look up above, you're probably wondering what that vent's for. That's the vent for your dryer. And then we've got our passive steer tag axle. So you can always tell if you've got the passive steer. I like to think of it like belly buttons, innies and outies. So when your front axle and your, and your tag axle both are like outies, you can tell just by visually looking at it, you've got that passive steer, which is gonna give you a greater cut when you go to turn. Here we've got our DEF fill, and we can fill this from either side of the coach as well. Remember that DEF stands for diesel exhaust fluid, and it does have an expiration, so it's really only good for about a year. It doesn't like heat or light, so if you're going to plan to stay to campground for six months, you may not want to fill that up. Um, you know, just fill it up as you use it. And then we've got our chassis batteries here and basically the power center for the back half of the coach. Just behind that is our fuse panel for everything that kind of happens on the back of the coach. And we've got our battery disconnects here. So if you don't store with us at National Indoor RV Centers where we keep you plugged into 50 amp service at all times, you'll wanna make sure that you cut off your battery disconnects when you go to store your coach so you don't have any parasitic draw and you don't come back to dead batteries. So the Dutch jar sits on the Spartan K2, 450 horsepower chassis, and we've got a 15,000 uh, pound hitch. So that means you're gonna be able to tow your Jeep, or put it on a stacker tra trailer and tow two Jeeps, you're gonna have no problem with that. With the Spartan chassis, you also have the safe haul that comes standard, which is your airline for your tow vehicle. So that's right here. And then you've got your seven way for your lights. If you look up here, we've got our rear view camera. And then we've got our camera that also contributes to that 360 camera, the bird's eye view that I'm gonna show you when we get inside. Then let's just open up the hatch here. So here we have our coolant for our Oasis, which is our on-demand hot water and um, furnace for the coach. We've got our coolant for the engine, and we've got the little bulb here so we can see how full that is and fill it here. We've got our engine oil fill here and our hydraulic oil fill here. This is the little device that makes the noise for the rear backup. 
so that beeping sound that we hear. Then we've got the Allison transmission check and fill here. Here's our oil dipstick. And guys, this is almost as long as I am tall. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out. <laughs> we've got our engine block heater. So on those cold winter mornings, when you should be further south, just come back here and plug that in and you can turn that on inside the coach. And then we've got a light back here, which is really nice if you're working in the dark so you can see what's going on. Then we have our, so the vent up here on the side of the coach is gonna bring fresh air into the engine. It's gonna, first of all, before it goes to the engine though, it's gonna come here into our air cleaner. And we've got a little air minder here. It's gonna let us know this needs to be, when this needs to be serviced, when it reaches the red line here. And then it's gonna take the air from the air cleaner. It's gonna filter that air and then it will go back into the engine. We've got the side radiator. And then as you look up, you're probably wondering what this uh, door is. There's really, it's a door, but it has no handle. This is the emergency egress door. Now you can only open this from inside. I've got a little helper, so I'm just gonna open this up here and then I'll show you how it works, um, how easy the ladder works. So. This panel just comes off. So inside the coach or out here, you can just take that off, super easy. It has magnets and it just magnets right back up there. The ladder just, you unvelcro that, pull the ladder forward and it's just going to telescope down. Super easy. Now, obviously they put this in here as a safety feature for an emergency. If you were to have a fire, rather than you know, going out a window, you can open up the door. Obviously see how easy this ladder comes down. I like to think of it for some other uses too. First of all, I think it's an easy way to load the coach. If you don't wanna walk the full length of the coach, you could just hand stuff up to your partner. So it's a nice sturdy ladder that you can go up or down on. Then once you're done using it, super easy. Just telescope that back up. Lift that up into the compartment. Put that Velcro strap on it. Go ahead and match up your panels here. And you're done. There's a few advantages to the side radiator. First of all, and most obvious, is that um, when you have it on the side, everything is more accessible to your engine from the back, like I just showed you. The second thing is that you typically, if you don't have a side radiator, you're gonna be using that hot air coming off the engine to cool your radiator fan. This way we're gonna bring in ambient air and it's gonna help cool that fan so it's not gonna to have to work as hard. Typically it takes about 30 horsepower to run that fan. So if it's not working as hard and it's getting cleaner, fresher air, you're going to have more horsepower going down the road. Now, just a few little maintenance things also. You want to occasionally just take your garden hose and just spray off the radiator. Not a power, not a power hose, just gently with, you know, put your thumb over the water hose and spring that off to just help maintain it and keep it clean. Here's our death fill from the driver's side of the coach. And then we've got our docking lights, our compartment here. This has got a nice solid door on it and a nice um, hinge there. Sometimes they've been a little flimsy in the past. I like that they've kind of beefed that up. And we've got a great place for our sewer hose or stinky slinky as I like to call it. Then here we've got the exhaust. This is the exhaust for our Oasis um, on-demand hot water system and furnace for the coach. And then we're going into our wet bay here. So notice as I open the door, this is on a slipper hinge. So when our slides are out, you're gonna have more clearance there, which is really nice. So I love that Newmark nicely labels everything in the wet bay. First of all, we've got a spot here for our paper towels. So after we've done all the dirty work, we can clean up with our shower here, wash our hands off, clean up. Um, also keep some gloves or whatever you like to use when you're doing um, the cleanup, the dirty work here that's involved with the wet bay area. Now we've got a nice, um, water hose here which is on a power reel gotta love that feature and then we have the filter this is our um, filter system for the full house so we have a full filtered water system 
So we've got the uh, autofill level here. Then we've got our, um, this would be our manual dump. Uh, if we were doing a gravity dump, we could hook our sewer hose on there. And then we've got our valves for our gray water holding tank and our sewage tank here. We've got our sewage rinse. Now that's just gonna kind of push um, everything through. It's not like a, you know, it's not like a, I, when I first thought of the sewage rinse, I thought it was gonna be like a dishwasher and it's gonna spray out the walls. It's gonna kind of just help push everything through. Um, we have our RV SantaCon, we can have that on or off because we do have the macerator on the Dutch star here and we can turn our water pump on here. Our shower, we've got the little shower so that if you've been out to the beach or if you wanna wash off your kids or your furry friends, you can do that easily right here hot and cold and then we have our hot cold and tank rinse and our low point drains you're going to need those if you winterize your coach now if you store with national indoor rv centers you don't need to do that we keep it indoors um, whenever it's in our facility and you just call us let us know that you're coming to pick up your coach you can give us 24 hours notice that's great we'll check the tire pressure fill your water tank and you can hit the road when you arrive and then they've also given us a light here in the wet bay we have our 50 amp shore power cord here. Now something that they've added new for 2020 that I like is that we have, we used to have the power reel over here to the side. Now they put it on the door. So I just think that's kind of convenient and handy. Push that and pull it right in. We've also got a lighted compartment and we have our SureGuard um, automatic transfer switch. And then we have our coax cable hook up here where this is where we can hook up our cable to the campground and then we have a satellite tripod one and satellite tripod two and then what is really important is as we once we have plugged in we're going to go ahead and put our cord through that um, molding there so that we can keep all the critters um, insects everything out of our coach and keep everything nice and clean Here's our Oasis on-demand hot water system. So this is gonna be your furnace for the coach and also give you those nice hot showers that we like, just like you have when you're at home. And if you just look up, we've got our security light for the driver's side of the coach. Then another camera contributes to that 360 view that you're gonna see soon and a marker light. Then moving on, we've got our pass-through trays. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up all these storage compartments again. So we've got the pass-through. So again, that's gonna extend all the way out. Look at that big, huge tray. Really, really nice. And then we've got the pass-through without the tray next door. Here we have our house batteries. So we went with the all electric package, which gives us the induction cooktop, the residential refrigerator, the two extra batteries. So we're gonna have eight six volt batteries here. And they're on a pull out tray. So just take out the pins and you can pull those right out. These are AGM batteries. So you virtually don't have to do anything with them. By the time it's time to replace these things, I can help you with that. Just come see me and I can get you a new coach. <laughs> We've got our second docking light for the driver's side, another marker light, and our fuel fill for our 150 gallon diesel fuel tank on the driver's side. So here we have, this is our exhaust for our generator. Then this is the, basically the power con control center for the front half of the coach. You're gonna see a lot of fuses here. They're nicely labeled. If you have a light that goes out or if your seat stop, stops working inside the coach, the fuse is gonna be out here. And Newmar always does a nice job of giving us extra fuses right here where they should be so they're not in a plastic baggie in some drawer. That's where mine would be and I have to hunt and search for them. So I love that they do that. Then we have our T-bar here, which is going to release our front cap. Here's our side view camera. So you're gonna be able to see down the full length of your coach when you turn on your blinker. And then another marker light. Now something I'm not sure if I mentioned when I was up front before, but it is worth mentioning that this coach comes with diamond shield. So that's gonna pr protect your paint on your front cap. Now something to always remember, even though you've got that diamond shield on there, best thing to do is when you get to the campground, 
and you know you're gonna be there for a, a couple days or a week or more, you wanna make sure you wash off your front cap just to keep any bugs that may still try to eat through that diamond shield. So here we are back at National Indoor RV Centers. I wanna show you what's underneath the front cap here. One of the things they've added for 2020 that I love is you've got the two struts. So that just feels really secure. I'm not worried about it crashing down on my head. Um, another thing that they added for 2020 that's really nice is now we've got this slide out for the generator so we can service that and I can show you all this stuff in here better. So there's a little T-bar right here to release the generator slide. So just pull that, kind of hear it click and you can pull that out for servicing, which is really nice. So now I'm gonna kind of get back in here. We've got our wussy horn right here. Remember, we don't use that very much. We like the big air horns, right? We have the hot water line to the front of the coach here so we can hook up a hose. We're gonna have hot water. We can spray off our front windshield and our front cap when we get to the campground. That's really nice. And we've got our quick connect for our airline here. So when you've got a diesel engine, you can hook up a hose to that and you've got a huge air compressor. I see a lot of people in the campgrounds toting around portable air compressors. With this diesel engine, it is a huge compressor. So I just turn on my engine, pump my brakes a little bit. The gauge is gonna read that you have 130 PSI. You're only gonna get 125 in your tires and then you can just bleed off the rest. But you can go around and check all your tires before you take off in the morning. Here is our fuel filter for our Oasis and our windshield wiper fluid. Then we've got a, our 10,000 watt Onan generator. Now, if you were to pop a breaker on the generator while you're going down the road, you'd have to pull over and this is where you would turn that back on. Here's the start and uh, the stop and the start. This is our coolant fill. And then if you just, oh, this will also tell you the hours. So you need to service your generator every 150 hours or once a year, whatever comes first. Here we have our oil filter, our oil fill, and our oil dipstick, and there's our fuel filter for the generator. This is for our dash AC, and then if you look down here, we got, we've got our hydraulic pump and reservoir, and our hydraulic fill. Now this is gonna be for our full wall slide and our hydraulic jacks. And we've got a light in the compartment because you know it never fails. You're working on these things in the dark, so it's great that they give you that option. All right, I'm gonna save you a little time. You saw me pull the T-bar to pull this out. If I try to push it in right now, it's not gonna lock in. So you just need to make sure that T-bar is pushed back in. Easy as that. All right, so that's the outside. Let's go inside and I can show you my favorite part. One of the features I really love as you walk into the Dutch Star, you've got storage compartments in your entry steps. So nice size there. And then the second step is twice as deep. So great for, you know, wet shoes, umbrellas, the leashes for your pets. I mean, you can put anything in there that you want, but it's just nice to have that storage right when you're entering or leaving your coach. Also, I love the great grab bars. So we've got the nice grab bar when we come in, we've got the grab bar here and the grab bar here. So entering or exiting this coach is gonna be very safe for your loved ones. Then right as you walk in the door, you've got your battery disconnect, that's huge. I love that so that you can shut everything down when you go to leave and turn it all back on when you get back if that's how you'd like to do it. You've also got a patio light here. Now that's gonna light up the light right outside your door so it's like your door light, plus it illuminates the stairwell here. Again, another safety feature. And then you've got your baggage lock. So you've got those on your key fob, plus you've got them right here. You can lock and unlock those doors super easy. All right, let's, so let's cover some of the storage that we have behind me here. So we've got this nice cabinet here. Notice Numar does the two struts on their cabinet doors, so just nice, they glide, they're great. The all hardwood cabinets in here, and this is the wicker glazed maple with the high gloss. So beautiful cabinetry. 
Then right behind me here, we've got this huge 43 inch Samsung TV for the overhead TV. And then this is kind of our power control, power central, or control central, let's call it that, cabinet here. So up above, we've got our Wi-Fi Ranger. So this is an option you can add to the coach. We put it in the coaches, so basically you can add a line to your cell phones, and then you can ha have a hotspot in your coach, just like you would at your home. And we've got the Traveler satellite, so that means that we're going to get HD reception if we go ahead and subscribe to um, direct TV. Here is our uh, Magnum Energy. This is going to work along with our inverter. This is kind of the control panel for the inverter. So we have a 2200 watt inverter and you're probably wondering what inverters do. Basically they convert AC to DC and DC to AC. They So you can use all your appliances, your curling irons, your blow dryers, your coffee pot in your coach just like you would in your home. Then they charge batteries as needed and they pass current through. Here is our over the air antenna. So we just would turn that on and it will start searching for just over the air um, stations. We've got our control panel for our ASUS, which again is our hot water, on demand hot water and furnace. This is our driver side security light. So that's the big oval light up on the midship on the driver's side and we have another one midship on the passenger side. You can turn these both on here and then in the bedroom as well. This is where we can turn on our block heater. So you saw in the back when I was at the engine compartment, you can plug that in and then you can turn that on and off right here. This is our exterior step. So once you're at the campground, you're going to be there for a week. You don't want that step to keep going in and out every time you open your door. So you hit that button, the step will stay out, and then it will automatically come in when you release the park brake. So in case you forget to do it, it's going to do it for you automatically. And we have our exterior LED lights. These are our um, LED lights that are illuminated below the slide. So again, that gives you that nice little ambiance when you're outside at night. You've got your LED lights in your awning and then the LED lights underneath the slide. Here are your controls for your off door slide out and your door side slide out. And then over here, we've got our Gerard awning controls. So I showed you how they work from the remote. You can also do those inside the coach. Then we have our entrance door awning, extend and retract, our entr entrance door awning light, on and off, our off door side living window awning, and then we've got our door side living window awning, extend and retract. This is our power management system. This is merely just a display and let you know um, what's working. We're on 50 amp service right now. It does all the work behind the scenes here. This is just basically, you can scroll through the information, but your energy management system is going to shed the load as necessary. So if you're overtasking the coach in any way, it will start by shutting down your mid AC or your rear AC. It has kind of a list and it will go through and make sure you're not overtasking the, the system. Then this is new for 2020. Took me a minute to figure out the first time I was in a Dutch star. Felt a little silly with my customers because um, I couldn't figure out how to get the AC on. And in Texas, that's super important. We were kind of burning up in here. So I didn't touch the panel. You just touch the panel and it lights up. And then you go to your AC. Make sure you turn on the power light. That was another blonde moment. Couldn't get it to work. Couldn't get it to go on because it wasn't powered up. So just because you touch the screen doesn't mean that you powered up the system. So here you can um, set your controls for AC and heat in your living room, in your kitchen, and in your bedroom. And then you can set those up for, you can program them, program them so that they'll run certain times. And we also have our tank levels. So here I can see my fresh tank. Fresh is 105 gallons. Gray tank is 65 and black is 45. And I can turn on my water pump from here. It's also going to give me a readout on my house batteries and my chassis batteries. And I can do my auto fill. I can fill up my fresh tank or hit that on from here as well. All right, so finally we're to my favorite part. 
the interior. So this is the beautiful Chatham interior. Now we made a few specials in here. Numar allows us to do that. So if you want to know exactly what we've changed in here, how we optioned this coach and the specials that we did, just call one of our lifestyle specialists at National Indoor RV Centers or always feel free to call me. Um, so we've got the beautiful ceilings. So we've got new ceiling treatments this year. I love these. I think I just love the way they inlaid them into the ceiling with the vinyl ceiling, LED lighting. And then we've got the tile, porcelain tile floor. This has more of a matte finish. This is one of those specials that we did, but I think it's gorgeous. I also want to show you and talk about the AC system just a little bit here. It's unique. Numar is one of the manufacturers that you'll see that you don't see any vents lining the ceiling. So it just keeps it really nice and pretty all the vents are are behind these panels so you've got your AC and your AC return are all hidden and then it's just they work nicely and then it's really easy to change the filter so let me show you how easy that works you simply pull down and that's a magnet so it's nice and strong and they've got a little safety strap here as well but then to change your filter just reach up there Pull it straight down, pop that out, take your little filter off, go wash it out, push it back on there. No screws or anything to mess with, just you have to get it center, Ange. There we go. Okay, pops right back in. So easy. And then you just push that right back up. One person can do it all by themselves. The other thing that I like about the AC being down the center of the coach is that when your slide rooms come in, your AC is still fully exposed. So it's gonna get this house really cool. And a lot of the other manufacturers, you'll see the vents on the side of the ceiling. So when those slides come in, the, the cold is, is cooling the top of the slide and then spilling over. So it's just really nice and efficient. So the Dutch Star comes standard with the multiplex lighting. I love that. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna show you exactly one of my favorite things because when you walk into the coach, if it was all dark, I've got all the lights on right now, so I don't wanna turn them all off and have to go turn them back on. Um, but you, when you walk into the coach, you can hit those two lights. Of course, we have the ceiling light right at the um, door panel that I just showed you or um, next to the passenger side seat. But also you can hit those top two and it's gonna kind of give you your runway lights through the coach. Now when I go to leave, I can hit these bottom two and it's gonna turn off all the lights. Accent lights, wall lights, overhead lights. So that's just a little trick. And then we've got our bathroom lights here, bedroom lights, ceiling lights, accent lights, ceiling lights low and high. So I like that. I tend, I'm a light person, I like to have a little bit softer light, especially at night, so that makes it super easy. And then we have our accent lights, you can turn them all off or all on. Um, and again, I like to sometimes turn off all those lights and then just have the accent lights on, I think that's really pretty and soft. Um, now this Dutch star, we opted in with the heated floors. You're going to love the heated floors, like period, end of statement you'll love them, even in the summer. I like to keep the heated floors on just a little at a really low level so that when I get out of the bed, they're nice and warm, feels cozy on my feet, yet I have my AC running. Um, now, if it's you know getting colder and say it's in the 40s, you can pretty much heat the coach with your heated floors. Um, just keep, turn them up a little bit higher and you don't really have to have the furnace blowing or the heat pump on. Obviously not the furnace because you really don't need the furnace until you drop below like 33 degrees. Um, but the heat pump, you may not want that hot air blowing on you, so just warm up the heated floors. And it's a radiant heat and it's electric, so you have, um, it's very even, you're not going to have cold spots and if for some reason you do run into a problem with your um, heated floor, we can find that one spot, take up that one tile and fix it. It's, it's not a big deal, but it rarely happens, but I really think it's an option that you're going to love. And you have three zones, so you have the living room, the kitchen area, you have your bedroom, and it's even heated in the bedroom slide out. So that's nice, and your bathroom is heated as well. So in this 4369 floor plan, we optioned in the theater seating. Now you can put recliners here, you could put another sofa here, but we thought that they, Numar really hit it out of the park with the theater seating this year in 2020, better than even in 19. So we added the theater seating, and 
you've got a USB charger right in the control there for your recliner so it reclines and the footrest comes out um, so cozy and comfy and then one of the other things I really like about this is we've got the drink holders and we have a little storage compartment so great place for all of our remotes to go and we have um, two more USB chargers right inside of this little storage compartment now then right to the side here at the theater seating I've got another little cabinet so again more storage and a little place where I can set another drink. So I just love that even though it's not very big, Newmar gives us a little cabinet on each side of the coach. So right here, while I'm comfy in my chair, I can reach back and I can hit the televator button so that I can bring up my TV. So I don't even have to get up. Isn't that nice? <laughs> if I don't have the TV up, I've got a great big window there across that I can be enjoying the outdoors from the comfort of my cooled coach. And look at that nice big 50 inch TV screen by Samsung with the Bose sound bar. So right by the televator button, I've got my reading light button. So I've got one right above me and one for my partner there. So that's just really nice. They're also directional so I can move those so that they are pointing you know, directly at my book or whatever I'm doing. So that's really nice. Another thing that I figured we might as well talk about while we're here is this remote. So this is our remote for our day and night shades. These are all MCD shades and they are controlled by remote. So um, I wanted to show you on the kitchen window because Numar kind of changed that this year. Um, they made the window bigger and it's not boxed in anymore so that gave us more viewing area and I like to talk about it when I'm sitting here in the theater seating because when I've got my TV up if I didn't have that window I might feel a little boxed in but right now I can just lift my shade up and if I were outside I'm inside a building right now at National Indoor RV Centers but look at that great view. I'd be able to be seeing outside and viewing the television, which I really like. So now let me show you just a few more features. This is going to scroll through. Um, I got, I've got my driver's side window. I've got my passenger side window. I can do all day, all night. So I can just kind of scroll through kitchen day, chair, dining, dining, driver's side front, driver's side front day, passenger side sofa. I'm gonna get to all here. So passenger side night, driver side night. Okay, all night. So I've got those shades down right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that up and you'll see that all of my night shades are now coming up. So easy. And now to put them back down, I just go all night again, hit my down button, and I can keep all the cool air in, <laughs> and I don't have to move. So as I talk about the storage overhead here, just note the beautiful woodwork, the detail, the crown molding, Newmar just finishes it off so nicely. And we've got the balance boxes for our windows. I love that these are just wood. It's not gonna date the coach like a fabric might. So I think you can I mean, put beautiful fabrics in there, but I really like the style that they've given us on the Dutch Star window. And then we have our first thermistor here. So our thermistor, we have about four or five in each coach, depending on the length, and that's gonna um, communicate with the thermostat to keep us cool or hot, whatever we've got our thermostat set to. Then we've got great storage, LED lighting, the, dub, uh, the struts on the door. Check out all that nice storage above our theater seats. So we've got the fold and tumble sofa here. Always when I do theater seating or recliners, I want to make sure I've got that um, fold and tumble across from it so we still have an extra bed for guests. And this blows up to be a nice queen size bed. We've got beautiful new wall lights, wall sconces for 
2020. I love those. Um, more storage here. And then we've got our, again, our Bose soundbar. And this is our AV cabinet. You'll notice that that's glass so that the infrared light can go through and you don't have to open that to communicate with your um, DVD player. This is your Blu-ray DVD player. And then this is where you would have your satellite boxes if you went with Dish or DirecTV, you would hook those up in here. Then we've got more storage. Again, the LED lights. And over here, we've got the 110 outlet and two USB outlets. So we've ordered this floor plan, the 4369, with the theater seating and the fold and tumble sofa on the passenger side. So I wanna show you how easy it is to make this into a bed for your guests. Folds down, then we just unclick here. And then we've got the blow up mattress. We're just going to power that up. So with the mattress all filled up, I'm just gonna put my sheets on. You'll see what a nice, this makes really like a queen size bed. So now you've got your nice bed. You can just hit your lights. I'm gonna do lights off and just hit my accent lights and nice lighting for your guests in their comfy bed. So the Dutch Star offers 12 floor plans. Yep, 12 floor plans. Not to make things confusing at all. Um, again, we're in the 4369, and next we're gonna go to the 4081. I also wanted to mention though that one of the new floor plans for Dutch Star this year is the 3709. Now, I don't have a 3709 Dutch Star to show you, but I did do a video on the 3709 Country Star. So you can go check out that floor plan by watching the Country Star video. But let's go check out the 4081 right now. So here we are in the lovely 4081 floor plan. So as I mentioned earlier, 4018 has been a very popular floor plan by Dutch Star. They tweaked it just a little bit for some improvements which I'll go over, and they renamed it to the 4081. So they made the front sofa on the passenger side just a little bit smaller. It's 68 inches uh, compared to 74 inches that it was last year because they've given us more room in our master bathroom with a bigger shower. So that's probably the biggest feature um, in the 2020. So here again, this is a very similar um, in interior decor so we've got the theater seating with the cup holders we've got the usb inside the um, little pocket there as well we've got our bed that's going to fold out to a queen size bed we've got the counter here which extends gives us that extra counter space which we love again the beautiful solid surface convection microwave oven our induction cooktop here and our solid surface sink and that's a double two bowl one's a bit nice deep ones another one's a little bit more shallow and again we get the residential um, faucets and all the great storage we've got the booth dinette here so this is going to extend just like it did in the um, 4369 with a little extra leg here and just pop that down and we've got our support there and we'll add our leaves. So you kind of saw that in the last unit. But I love that it's just so easy to do that. You don't, you're not fighting with the dinette or the table. Numar's made it super simple. Again, we have the beautiful new ceilings for 2020. We've got the new wall sconces that are really pretty and updated. As we go into the midship part of the coach here, we've got our residential refrigerator and nice and big there with the locks on it 
So as you're traveling, you just want to make sure you just turn that little uh, lever there or just flip it back and it's going to be locked. So you don't have to worry about that going down the road. We still get a really nice size pantry in the 4081. And remember that Numar added the little lock on the pantry. So you just push it into lock and then it's not going to open up easily during transit or you can keep the kiddos out and then you can unlock it. And you've got the nice full extension drawers here and you can adjust those shelves as well. LED lights inside, gotta love that. Then we have our midship bathroom here. So you're gonna be able to easily get into that when you're going down the road and your slides are in. Uh, you've got the vessel sink, lots of counter space in that midship bath. Toilets directly, it's straight on, so that gives you a little extra room and then lots of storage in there as well. Here in the master bedroom, we still get a full king size bed, which is huge. Now remember another thing that they added for 2020 is they've given us extra space on each side of the bed. So it's gonna be a lot easier for us to make the beds. It's been a common complaint um, pretty much across the whole market for years is that RV beds are hard to make. So that's really nice that Numar listened to us and gave us some extra space. We've got the same setup essentially as the 4369 in the wardrobe area. So we've got two big wardrobes on each side as a side of our big Samsung TV. And then we've got the drawer, storage here. And again, soft closed drawers. We've got the sleep number mattress that we optioned in on this. And we've got the USB 110 outlets on each side of the bed and light controls up above um, under the cabinet and again they've given us those outlets up in the storage area and a pass-through area so if you've got CPAP machines you can use um, the outlet and that storage there or your nightstand again more options by Newmar the master bathroom is where the big changes took place in the 4081 so now we have a 40 by 30 rectangular shower last year it was on that radius so this is much bigger nice easy to get into um, one of the features that I really like we've got the flip down seat and another thing that they did is the toilet is square it's straight on so as you walk in here you can easily get to your egress door so if you need to get out you don't have to crawl over the toilet so I really like that design it makes it much much more usable and it gives you more room around the commode Look at all that space we get. We also have the fold down seat. If we wanted to use that, that's really nice for us to shave our legs. And uh, you can just flip it right back up easily if you don't want to use that. Then we've got the nice residential shower head here. We've got the handheld device. And of course our aqua miser here. So that's gonna light up with the LED kind of light. Once the water is warm, it's gonna recirculate that water. You're not unnecessarily I'm um, using up your water in your fresh tank and you're not uh, filling up your gray tank unnecessarily because you're warming your water and then it lets you know when it's ready to come on and you just start your shower. In their redesign of the 4081 master bathroom, we still get lots of um, features. So we still have our um, washer and dryer. This year it's a Splendide and so those are matching washer and dryer. And then we've got this nice big cabinet here full length we've got a light in there we put the safe in there as well so we can do full length here we've got our extra leaves for our dinette then we've got more hanging area nice deep drawers again with the soft clothes another big compartment here we've got drawers on each side so lots of space in the bathroom and then another cabinet here I love how they've done the um, solid surface sink it just goes right from the solid surface countertop into the sink so there's no um, seam there you're not going to get any kind of mold or dirt in there so I like that beautiful backsplash and then look at this medicine cabinet it's huge Gotta love that. Also love that I got my 110 outlet in there so I can just put my curling irons up there. And then one more. So I think they've really improved this bathroom area. Tons of space, great big shower. 
easy to get to, a little bit more space in the commode area, and then easy egress door access. So I'm super excited to show you or demonstrate Freightliner's Drive Tech. So this is the first RV driving system that maximizes safety by putting all the commands within your reach, basically. So they call it their Drive Tech technology. So first off, we have the OptiView All Digital Dash. That was designed in collaboration with Mercedes-Benz. So it's got an anti-glare screen and then you can adjust the brightness. But you can see everything nice and clearly right there on your All Digital Dash. Then we're gonna move over to the right um, hand control here. So once I put it, um, release my parking brake to change my transmission gear, I merely just move the dial and you can do that from the front or the back. So your hand's gonna get really, it's it, very used to doing that, easier than going over here and pushing a button or pushing a button here. It's right here on the column. So I can go from drive to neutral to reverse. And then if I want to manually uh, change my gear, I'm going to push the paddle away from me. Now I'm in manual mode. And then I just can change each gear. Once I get to fifth, it's going to go back to manual mode or to auto mode. And then say I go back to manual and I'm changing. I'm in third gear. I want to go back to auto. I'm just going to push the end button right there and I go back to auto super easy. My engine brake is also on here too. So right now it's not on. I take it down one, it's on low, it's on medium, now it's on high. You can also go to performance or economy mode just by simply pushing and holding the button here. You'll see that economy comes up on my screen. That's basically going to uh, shift gears 200 RPM sooner through the whole shifting sequence than it would normally. So right here on the, on the right hand side of the steering column, we've basically got our Bluetooth controls so we can answer a call or hang up on a call. We can mute the radio right here. This is where we're gonna turn on our cruise control. We're gonna set it and resume. And these are our courtesy lights. Then we've got our horn here. So I've got the air horn on, which is right there on the dash. That's why do that so if I turn that off then we've just got the little wussy horn um, then over here we have our like kind of our command center for what we the information we see on the dash so we can go to our home screen we're gonna get trip one information and it will give us that information we can hit the back button go to trip two do the same thing back we can go to gauges here we can kind of set up the information that we want to see and we can change that so we can customize that setting there. Fuel economy, that's gonna give us the information on our fuel economy there. Back, cruise control. So you can set the distance at which it's going to alert you at the car in front of you when you're, this has, comes with a uh, collision mitigation system and adaptive cruise control. So I'll demonstrate that while I'm driving, but basically when the car in front of you slows down, it's gonna adjust the speed of the coach and you can set that following distance. So we have our tire pressure monitoring. So you can hit that. That's gonna give us the tire pressure on all, on all of our tires for the coach. Vehicle configuration. Now this is where we can set a lot of, I talked about you could set the, the brightness of the dash here. So I just hit that up and hit okay. I can increase it or decrease it. I like mine pretty bright. And then go back. Steering effort. This is where you're gonna find your comfort um, drive setting. So comfort steer, if you want more or less. Again, I like it a little bit more when I'm going down the highway, so I'll set that. Hit okay. Your standard or metric. Diagnostics, so you can internal diagnostics, transmission. So it's gonna give you that, your transmission health basically, that information. System information. Radar alignment. And then you can just go back to your home button. Or you can pull up your gauges just by sim simply hitting that button right there. So 
the gauges will just take you through your different options here. Distance to empty, engine load, RPM. And then you can set that, customize so that when you just hit your home, when you hit your gauge button, what pops up. So you can change that by scrolling through and setting that menu. Here we have our left hand column controls. So we've got our windshield wiper fluid. We're just going to push that in and hold to put windshield wiper fluid on the windshield. And then we can set and adjust the speed of the windshield wipers just super easily. Then we're going to go up or down for our right and left signal. If we want to, we push it back to go in from bright to regular lights. And then if you just want a quick um, flasher headlights, you'll just pull it forward like that. Now, right below the left hand, hand uh, column control here, we have a little pedal control. So we can push that to bring our pedals forward or backwards. And then I failed to mention earlier, here is the hazard. So we have to put our hazards on. We just hit that button and hit it again to turn it off. So really neat. This is just a great new feature by Freightliner. All right, I know you're excited to see the kitchen. Before we do that, let me show you these, this panel for the multiplex lighting. We've got our fantastic fan. And then we have the high, medium, and low button for the fantastic fan. We have our overhead lights, our kitchen lights, wall lights, kitchen and living room lights, and then we have our water pump. So take note of the beautiful solid surface countertops. Just love them. Again, I talked about the big window that we added to the kitchen here. We've got nice storage, and these are adjustable, adjustable shelves. These all have, are lined with like a carpet, so that's gonna cut down on the noise, which is really nice. We have the spice rack area there. I see most people with spices or baking goods. You can also, if you're worried about those like ever moving during transport, you could put like a little shower rod across there and keep those from moving at all. We've got our Whirlpool convection microwave oven. And don't be scared of the convection oven. So I have a customer who makes beautiful uh, loaves of bread in her convection oven. I came to her coach and I was kind of amazed because it was so pretty. So the next time she baked the, the loaf of bread, she took videos of it the whole way along. So anyway, don't be afraid to experiment and bake and use that oven. Then we've got nice storage here above the sink with a pullout. I love that. And again, that's soft close too. Inside the cabinets, folks, we have soft closed um, drawers. So they just, everything's finished off so nice. And we've got the 110 outlet in here. That's gonna be where you plug in your microwave. One more cabinet here to the side. And then we've got our induction cooktop. So behind those panels, we've got cutting board on both sides. So if you're not using your induction cooktop, you can turn those over and use this for your cutting board. Having extra counter space is always nice. Now your induction cooktop, any pan will work on this that ha will attach to a magnet. That's what, so that those will work. Now, if you wanna work outside, say you wanna be cooking outside while you're grilling, you can just take this induction cooktop right outside. Just unplug it and you can take this outside and work there. Now, if you want, so you wanna find a place for these to go while you're cooking, you can put them in this cabinet right under the sink here. They can go into the side and be out of your way. Another thing I like about this cabinet, they've given us two pullouts, so I can get to the very back because that's kind of a deep cabinet and They've given us a spot for the trash and some extra maybe cleaning supplies. I like that. I love to have a spot to hide the garbage. And then we've got this nice big drawer underneath our induction cooktop. We've got all remotes in there. You'll probably fill that with silverware and other cooking utensils. And then we've got our dishwasher. So you just hit that on. Nice big dishwasher with a little utensil holder there. 
and then you're gonna love this feature because again we always need more counter space right so there's a little button right underneath here just hit that and look at that you've got even more counter space and check out these nice drawers soft clothes and then when you're ready for that to be on you just push it right in easy as that also notice the fantastic fan I talked about the control but here it is we've got the nice wood cover these are pretty expensive so it's nice that they've just finished off every detail in this Dutch star so no need to worry Newmar has given us plenty of outlets in the kitchen two here and then two more here and then we have our beautiful sink we have the solid surface double bowl or they're actually separate so we have the bigger sink here and a little smaller more shallow sink there residential faucet and then beautiful backsplash and they've given us a little flip drawer here we can put our sponges and brushes scrubbers in here so you could put your oven oven covers or sink covers in here so they're not in your way while you're cooking so all four safely tucked away so now that we've cooked all the food it's time to sit down and relax and enjoy it we option this in with the booth dinette Another popular option is the combination desk dinette. So this I like, it's very comfortable. You can sit this direction, or you could actually sit this direction, relax, watch TV, visit with your guests. So it is, it does give you a couple other options and it's quite roomy. So when I'm sitting back here, there's plenty of room here and there's no leg. So nothing's interfering with um, my legs underneath the table. Now to the right here, I've got the control for the ceiling lights, the dinette light, the wall light, the overhead lights, our ceiling high and low lights, and then our accent lights. And then I've got another 110 outlet, two here, and two USB ports as well check out how much storage you have under each ETH, each of the booths. Nice and wide and deep. Now I can, you can see that you can easily get four people at this dinette, but we've got two leaves that go in here and two extra chairs. So I'm going to show you that with it set up and you're going to be amazed at how much space you have at the booth dinette. So we're going to put the leaves in here. What I really like is that Numar tucks the extra leg right underneath the table so it's just right there you've got that extra leg so you've got great support when you put your leaves in. So now I've got the two leaves in, the two extra chairs. You can see that I can easily get six people to this table. So it's time to eat, play cards, or whatever. Now let's go get some drinks out of the refrigerator. One of the things that you need to think about when you're traveling is always locking the fridge and the freezer before you start going down the road. So you don't want to have anything spill out here on your gorgeous tile floor. So I've got the lock on right now. So you have to smooth that to the side and then I've got this nice big residential refrigerator has its own water filter in it veggies fruits deli meats and cheese and then a big freezer with an ice maker and lots of storage there now if you come into your coach after you've been storing it and the refrigerator's off, 
and you want to get that started you just have to pit, uh, hit your fridge temp and your freezer temp at the same time and then you can determine how cold you want each your refrigerator and your freezer say you've already got food you already bought it and you want to cool it down quick you're going to go to fast cool hold that there You've got water in the door, so that's nice. You're not gonna be constantly opening and shutting the refrigerator to get water. And then you've got ice below. Now, one of the bonuses to the 4369 is a nice big pantry. So, not only is it nice and big with these great extendable shelves that you can adjust. So I like this one here. You could easily put um, cereal boxes, oatmeal containers, or a big Instapot in here. And we've got the lighting inside the pantry when we open the door. This is new for 2020. They gave us a lock on the pantry. So if you want to keep those grandkids out of all their snacks, no, I don't think that's what it's for. But it will work for that too. It's actually for when you're going down the road, you want to make sure that pantry doesn't come open. Um, they've given you a little lock up here. So push it in, locked, push it in again unlocked all right let's head into the half bathroom here so nice and roomy we have the pivot door so that you can easily get in and out of this when the slides are in which I'll show you in just a little bit but we've got storage right behind the door here and then above the toilet we have our breaker box we have two more 110 outlets so that's four in total and we've got our fuses they're nicely labeled right here and then Numar gives us extra fuses right here. We've got our window. Now this window is controlled right here by these devices. That way with the remote control, you don't have someone in the bathroom while someone's opening up all the windows. So you can control those right there. Another 110 outlet, two right here. Our toilet and we have our push button controls right here to the side of this cabinet. Then we've got our dustpan. So, sweep everything in. We can suck it up. We also have our central bat connection here. So our holes will extend to the front of the coach and to the rear of the master bathroom. And more storage here underneath the sink. Numar's given us a newly designed vessel sink. Again, residential faucet. And that vessel sink, they do that so that we get some extra counter space here. Note the beautiful backsplash. We've got our lighting control here for the ceiling, the accent, the vanity, our heat we can turn on right here, and our water pump. And then we've got the controls here for our fantastic fan that's in the bathroom. So for high, medium, and low. And then we've got the great vanity there. Nice storage. And again, another <laughs> outlet. We're not short on one ten outlets in this half bath. And of course, I always love that we have the hand towel and we have the holder for the toilet paper as well. So notice the nice solid wood doors as we come into the master bedroom, which is gorgeous. Again, I love the ceiling in here. We have the king size bed and we've got, Numar has given us extra room on both sides of the bed. So everyone always complains about how hard it is to make the bed. Look at that. I can put like my whole fist in between the bed and the nightstand there. And then we've got the nightstand on both sides. I really like that. Check out the storage overhead. And then another new feature that Numar has given us for 2020 is we've got a 110 outlet, two 110 outlets over the bed. So those of us that have CPAP machines, we can easily plug them in here and then we've got a little pass through right here on each end of the bed. Notice the beautiful headboard padded and then framed in wood. So nice to lean up against. And then we've got a little storage compartment on each side of our bed underneath the nightstand. And we've got the two 110 outlets and two USB charging outlets here. Speakers and again, another thermistor. I wanted to go over the controls that are underneath the cabinet here in the master bedroom. So we have the driver's side 
and the passenger side security lights. I talked about those earlier. They're midship on each side of the exterior of the coach. And then we've got our reading light controls for each side. We can turn off the ceiling, accent lights, bedroom backlit, so I can turn off this whole panel so it's not gonna keep me awake at night. And then our accent lights all off. So basically I can turn off my ceiling lights, I can just keep my accent lights on and that gets it a really nice soft lighting in the bedroom. So we have the sleep number bed optioned in here. So you'll have a control. It's best to um, get that bed all aired up while you're actually laying on it. So you can do each side individually to make it perfect for you and your partner. Then this bed lifts up easily for storage. I've got the folding chairs under there, but you've got tons of space there. And again, it's super easy to lift up and put down. We have more features over here. We've got the control for the floor heat for the bedroom. So high, medium, low. Then we have our multiplex lighting panel here. So we have our ceiling lights, our kitchen and living room lights, our dresser lights, courtesy lights. Those are just gonna be those little lights that are kind of by the bathroom and around the bed. So you can just hit those on if you've gotta get up and go to the bathroom. And then we've got our ceiling high and low lights and our accent lights. And then just above that, we have our control for our bedroom slide. So typically I'll come and do the bedroom slide first and then I'll go do the full wall slide and the other passenger side slide. The Dutch Star 4369 gives us a lot of space for wardrobe. So we've got two big wardrobe closets here. We've got a 110 outlet at the top. We've got the hanging bar there. Then below it, we're gonna have our AV cabinet for the bedroom. So we've got our Blu-ray DVD player in here and an adjustable shelf. Nice drawer below. Again, with a soft close feature. And then we've got four more drawers, pretty much the same size. Nice and deep, lots of storage. Nice solid surface countertop here with our Samsung 43 inch TV, huge. Who needs the living room? You can do, you know, watch it all here from the bedroom. <laughs> and then we've got another big wardrobe here. So tons of storage in this master bedroom. So another solid wood privacy door as we go into the master bathroom. Now there's a small step up, but it's really small. I feel like it's um, shorter than it has been in years past. It's just four inches. So step up here and we've got our Splendid matching washer and dryer. Now, if you ever come into your coach and you smell like a horrible smell, you think that maybe something's going on with your black tank, um, sometimes it's just that you've run out of water in your P-trap. So all you need to do is come in, bring a gallon of water, put it in your washing machine, turn and cycle your washing machine through the rinse cycle. You're gonna fill that P-trap back up and you're gonna get rid of that smell. Just a little trick. Now, I want to feature the biggest thing that I think is really cool about the 4369 is this huge shower. So it's 34 by 50, glass enclosed, and this year in the Dutch Star, they went away from the uh, central shower wall. Now we have a tile, porcelain tile with a beautiful backsplash accents in our shower. We've got the shower seat, and I'll go in there and show you a few more of the features. So look how much space there is in this shower. It's huge. You've also got the shower seat that you can use, or if you want that extra space, you can just flip it back up. So I like that that's there. They also give you a little foot rest here. So if you want to shave your legs, that's really nice. They've given us an adjustable shower head. So this has been um, a complaint that some people have talked about saying that they don't have enough room underneath the rain shower head. So you can actually move that up or you can turn that off and just use the handheld device, which I really like that option. Also, while we're in here, let's talk about the cathedral ceiling. So let's give you six extra inches in your bathroom. So a little extra height there. And then we've got the shower miser. This is one of those features that I love. Basically what that does, it's gonna cycle your water. So you come in, you know, typically you turn on your shower and you wait for that water to warm up. Well, in doing so, you're using your fresh water tank and then you're filling up your gray tank unnecessarily. So the shower miser will 
recycle that water till it's warm when it's warm this LED light is going to light up and let you know get in the shower it's warm and ready to go we also opted in the shower assist handle so this is a nice feature to have um, as, as our guests or as we age we may need that you never know so also notice the towel holder I love to have a place to hang my towel and let it dry and then also before you leave on a trip you want to make sure you come and you lock that shower door just so that doesn't happen and swing open while you're in travel mode now here we've got our emergency egress door I showed you that from the outside but again that's really easy they've actually I love this you know make it easy for me because <laughs> no matter what I do I always put the wrong way so we have the lock and unlock and you can just open that I show you how to take off the panel there and easily telescope that ladder down if you need to get out of the coach we've got our window here again this is not controlled by the remote control so we have our shade controls here for our day and night shades we have our aquamizer light here and then we have our um, floor heat for the bathroom area high medium and low place to hold our toilet paper and then we've got the push buttons here for our toilet now we're moving into the wardrobe area we've got our safe that we optioned in back here and then we've got the adjustable shelves so we can take those out if I want to have more um, hanging area and then we've got the big space here and we've got a light in the closet that we can just turn on and off the shoe holder here look at how big this closet is I've got my two extra lace for my dining table in here and then I've got all these shelves over here which are adjustable so look at the nice vanity area here in the 4369 I've got a medicine cabinet on each side again I'm not worried about outlets <laughs> I've got two one out ten outlets in here so I can tuck my curling irons and stick them right back in there and we've got the carpet lined which just makes everything nice and quiet another two one ten outlets then we have this beautiful polished solid surface top and then it goes into a solid surface sink so it's kind of seamless so no place for any um, you know mold or anything to get there it's just nice and clean residential residential faucets towel holder look at all this space that we have underneath our sinks and then check out all the drawers and again those are going to be soft clothes so you don't need to worry about storage space in the bathroom another 110 outlet over here and then we've got a control for our fantastic fan vent our ceiling lights our cosmetic lights our water pump here our bathroom oh backlight so we can turn that panel off if we want and the ceiling high and low lights so again I like that in the bathroom because in the morning when I wake up I'm not sure that I want all those bright lights on me so I can just hit that and it's a little bit softer and then another big medicine cabinet on this side of the sink so I like to call these double sinks the marriage savers I know it's super important for you to see the 4369 with the slides in now I'm back in the master bedroom and I can easily get to the bed so I could go to sleep on this bed without taking my slides out if I needed to I can also get to the pantry and I can almost fully extend the pantry drawers I can get into my refrigerator and my freezer and my ice and I can easily get into the midship bathroom lots of room here in the kitchen area I could sit in the booth I could be preparing food um, got the crock pot in the sink cooking dinner while we're going down the road and then I've got a big walkway here between my theater seating and my sofa 
So now we're here at the front dash. I want to go over all the features up here. The first thing we're going to cover is the hydraulic leveling jack. So let's pretend like we're in a beautiful campground and not the inside of National Indoor RV Centers and we're ready to level the coach. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the auto level button. You can hear the air letting out and we're going to go through the process of leveling. So now you can see all four red lights are illuminated so we are level and I can just turn off the coach and we're good to go. All right, so now we've got the coach all level. Let's say that we've been at the campground for a week. I'm ready to leave. So I wanna go into travel mode. So I'm going to go into auto store and raise all the jacks up. And when it's all done, it will give me a green light on the travel mode button. All right, so the jacks are up and we are in travel mode. You can see I've got the green light. So we're ready to go. Next, we've got our gear shift here. So we can go into reversed, neutral, or drive. If I hit the plus and the minus arrows together, it's going to give me the tr like engine information. Engine RPM too low, oil level, invalid, oil life 99%. Filters okay. Transmi transmission health okay. No codes. And back to neutral. I can also push the mode button to go into economy mode. That's going to cause the coach to shift 200 RPM sooner than it normally would throughout the shifting sequence. Then we have our ATC override button. So you would only push this, it's usually just in auto. Let's say you're stuck in mud and you need to get a little, your tires just spin a little bit more. You would hit that button and you also may want to um, dump your tack so you get a little bit more weight there. Now this is one of the features that I like the most on the Dutch Star is the power toll window. So I just hit that button and pay my toll, talk to my neighbor. It's just really nice. We have our engine brake. So we can put that on high, medium, or low. And I like to have that on just to have extra help when I need to stop this big coach really quick. Then we have, and then the engine brake just on and off button, and then our tag dump. We've got two drink holders here, which is really nice. And then just below here, we've got two USB ports. And then we have another USB and auxiliary input right here on the dash. We've got our battery boost for our house and our chassis. So that's a bilateral battery boost. If I walk into the coach and my coach batteries are dead, I can push that and hope that I can combine whatever power is left to hopefully give me enough oomph that I can get my generator started, start my generator, and then hopefully I'll be able to start my engine and then it will start charging everything back up. If I come into my coach and my house batteries are dead, again, I'll try to start my engine, see if I can get that started to charge my batteries. Now, if I come in and both my house and my chassis batteries are dead, maybe I forgot to um, turn off my battery disconnects, um, pretty much out of luck. That battery boost button isn't gonna help you, but you can always call CoachNet. So we've got our lights, we've got our bright and our dim, our fog lights, our dome light, which is above me directly and then we've got our park brake so they've moved this over here and I pull to apply and push to release this is the heat the defrost button for my external mirrors and then I can adjust those mirrors from internal the top mirror the bottom mirror I have to do outside now I love this I've got a wireless charging pad right here by um, the dash for me so when it's blue it's not charging I lay my cell phone on there and when it goes green then it's charging now to the steering column so right to the left of the steering column there's a pedal I'm going to push that to adjust the steering column I can telescope it and move it backwards and forward 
So right here on the steering column itself, over here to this side, I've got the cruise control and my turn signal. When I turn on those turn signals, you're going to see in the camera that it's going to show down the whole side of the coach. So I'm going to be able to see what's um, on the side of me if I want to change lanes or if I'm turning. I have customers that make this mistake all the time. They're looking for the control to move the steering column and they move this little silver lever here and they turn on the hazards. So that's how you turn on your hazards. And then they try to figure out how to turn them off. They start to panic. <laughs> all you have to do to turn off your hazards is to hit your turn signal. And then we can take them off. Right here on the steering column, I've got the courtesy lights. So if I have a trucker that has um, pass me and I want to let him know that he can come in I can just flash those lights at one time tell him it's safe to come in if I have passed a trucker and he's letting me know that it's safe to come in I can flash those three times to tell him thank you now this is our windshield wiper so we've got high and low or I can turn them off I've got the fluid or I can set my own intermittent speed. So I can push the button, count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, hit the button again. Now it's going to go at that interval 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. So I can set that myself. And over here, this is our home button for our new glass dig digital dash screen. So when I hit the home button, I'm going to get different information, trip information here. So trip A and trip B. And then if I want to scroll through this information, accelerator position, I'm going to get my tire pressure monitoring system here. It's going to show up on the screen for me. Adaptive cruise control. I can set the brightness. I can go to messages, I don't have any. Settings, that's where I'm gonna see my comfort drive. So if I click that, I can scroll through and set my comfort drive where I'd like that. Units, that's just gonna be um, your temperature, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Oops. Pressure, PSI. speed distance miles or kilometers so you can set all that information and then trip back to trip information info tire pressure monitoring system and adaptive cruise control settings all right so we've got our rear view camera that's color and also has audio with it so I can actually hear the person that's giving me directions in the back I can change different settings, my brightness, contrast, color, do all that right there, volume control. Now down here we've got the pedal button, so I can move that pedal forward or backward. So if I'm a little bit shorter, I might need to bring those forward. Then we've got our visor, which is my driver's side, day a shade, and then my front day shade. I'm bringing that down so you can see it. And my night shade. One of the things that I really like about Numar is they give a tract for your shade to stay in. So as it's going down it's all nice one piece shade and it stays right on course and closes nicely. These are my docking lights, so as I come into a campground at night, I can hit those on, make sure I can see all the way around the coach. I've got my overhead fans. So those are going to help defrost this big windshield, and I can set those to high, medium, or low. I've got my front fan, which is I can put on high or low or off. I can start my generator from right here. I can lock the entry door or unlock that from right there. I've got my air horn so I've got my wussy horn or my air horn that's what I'm going to keep on most of the time my courtesy lights I can turn those on right here 
and my passenger side visor their day shade basically I can move up and down and then this is for my 360 camera which we're seeing up here so you can see the 360 view it's a little dark inside the building but I can go through and select different um, views so top and rear I can see the uh, sides there and then the top the 360 view so I can scroll scroll through and see what view I like I typically like to keep it on 360 and the rear then we've got our menu here so we've got our radio DVD which will go right in there USB I can put those in those auxiliary plugs there XM radio we can subscribe to that Bluetooth I can set this up for Bluetooth front auxiliary and auxiliary again right there you can see we can connect our iPod so we've got the Rand McNally navigation system on here this is nice because I can input my height and my length so that I don't end up going places where I won't fit um, to a overpass that's too low so that's nice and then I've got my setup screen so I can set the brightness the beeping tone etc ignition and we've got a 12 volt receptacle here and then our AC and heat controls and the different locations that we can push that heat and AC. Then we've got nice drawers here. All right, so you have to come and try out the Dutch Star seat for yourself. It's so comfortable. I could take a nap. <laughs> In fact, I probably will. Um, we've got a nice armrest here. The seats are made by Flex Steel. And then we've got the finger control here so you can easily adjust those to your liking and then over here to our left side in the chair we've got our six-way power seat so forward backwards rear up and down and then front up and down and for those of you that have little back issues you're gonna love this we've got the lumbar support so you can just play with that plus or minus how much um, help you want there and then we've got our my favorite Course. This is going to help me get ready for my nap. <laughs> get those feet up and get super comfortable as we're going down the road. Now, another thing that we want to do is that we make sure we put our step cover out. So that's right over here to my right. And I'm probably kind of covering that. So let me show you. We've got our step cover. There we go. Step cover so that I don't end up falling in the stairwell once um, we're driving and I hop up to get drinks or something. So again, I'm gonna extend that footrest, get comfy, and then if I want to go to work, I can go to work. I'm gonna bring out my little workstation here, flip that up, got a place for my drinks, and sit here. It's really nice and handy for iPad, crosswords as I'm going down the road. I just like that. And then right in front here, I've got the controls for um, this lever here. When I open that up, I would now be able to turn the chair, rotate it around. So when I want to make this part of my living room, I'll just move that. And then I also have the button here for the heated seats. Yeah, heated seats. That's an option on the Dutch Star and we put it in. So you're going to love it. Over here to the right of the passenger chair, we have our cup holder, and it's nice and deep. I always like that. Then we've got our ceiling light. I can turn on the kind of the runway lights when I'm sitting here behind me. I've got the step cover, so take that up or down. My visor, so that's my shade there, so I can move that up and down while we're going 
down the road. And then my map light so I can read my map or my book while we're going down the road. Here's our wireless phone charger. I love this. So you can just lay your phone down. You'll see that the light's blue right now. When I put my phone on there, it's going to go green and now I know it's charging. If this doesn't happen to work with your cell phone, you can always use the two USB chargers that are right behind it or you can plug into the 110 outlet. All right, so we're ready to go. I'm just gonna, I've got my seatbelt on. I'm gonna go ahead and release the park brake and put us in drive. And let's see how this Dutch Star handles. We've got our rear camera that shows up all the time um, until I'm either uh, turning my right or left signal on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a left turn here. Now I've got that camera that's shooting all the way down the side of my coach. So right now you can see that I've got the split screen. I'm looking at the rear and then I'm looking at my 360 view. So as I start this turn, I can see what's around me. I can see if I'm staying in my lane. It's just really nice. So I really, really like that 360 camera. I kind of watch that while I'm going down the road. Just kind of glance over to it when I'm looking in my mirrors. All right, so one of the things you want to remember when you're driving a Class A diesel for the first time is just to kind of exaggerate everything. Your turning point is no longer, when you're driving a car, you turn when you get to the turn because your tires are in front of you. In a Class A diesel, your tires are actually behind you. So you don't turn until your tires, the center of that front axle is at the turning point or at the corner. So that's why you kind of put your nose out there ways and then you start your turn. So I'm going to go out, start my turn now. I can watch my mirrors and see how I'm doing. If you start to dip, get too close to a curb, um, you can totally stop the coach straighten out a little bit and re-angle you're going to be fine then as you start going down the road initially you're going to feel like you're too wide for your lane obviously you're not you fit in it but the best thing to do is to hug the left side of the lane that you're in everything bad happens on the right side street signs road debris potholes tend to be more on the right side um, so if you just hug that left side of the lane that you're driving in you're going to be better off and you'll get used to staying in your lane. You just kind of look ahead. You can also watch the lines in your mirrors and see if you're centered or if you're a little over to the left or to the right. When I first started driving diesels, I tended to want to go always right. So I heard hug the left, hug the left a lot. Now the Dutch Star comes um, standard with Comfort Drive. This is a great tool. It's a computer aided driving assist that's going to help you if you have a strong cross wind or a camber to the road, it's going to fill that and adjust for you. You can also adjust your steering so that it feels a little looser or a little tighter. When you're in a parking lot, I'll tend to turn my comfort drive down and when I'm on the freeway, I tend to turn it up. So on the Spartan um, chassis here, I'm going to hit my home button and I'm going to scroll to my settings, hit setting and then I'll, my comfort drive dial will come up and I want a little more. Um, so I'm just gonna turn that up to five and then hit okay and I've set it. So now when I get back to the National Indoor RV Center's lot, I may wanna turn that down to a one so that it's super easy um, to turn my steering wheel. But you'll really love comfort drive. It's kind of a game changer. I've had customers that have come from other brands that uh, when I ask them, you know, how their first trip in their Dutch Star was, they're like, fantastic. I drove more hours than I've ever driven in my other coach um, just because it's so easy. So you're basically just keeping the, the coach in your lane, um, shouldn't have a lot of tension through your shoulders, just makes it nice and easy to drive and you can really enjoy your trip. So you get the auto traction control and the electronic stability control, the Dutch Star, Comfort Drive. We've added the OnGuard um, 
collision mitigation system. So you're going to find that this coach is just super easy to drive. Like driving your automobile, you kind of have to remind yourself that you've got 40 plus feet behind you because you will get comfortable driving. And then you have this great big windshield. So it just makes your getting there really pleasant. I've set my cruise control at 62. So I'm just gonna drive ahead here. And if a car comes in front of me, changes into my lane, it will automatically slow me down. And once that car moves ahead, it's going to speed me up. Just like you have in your automobiles, it makes driving this coach a breeze. And now it's starting to slow me down because I've got cars in front of me. So I'm down to 58 now. As they move ahead, it's gonna take me back up to my 62 miles per hour. So with these big diesel pushers, I want all the help I can get when it comes to stopping, if I have to stop quickly. So I keep my engine brake on. So as I'm going down the road, I've got, I'm going about 56 right now, but if I take my foot off of the gas, I'm gonna start slowing down because I've got the engine brake on and it comes up on my dash and says auxiliary brake. I've got that in, that's slowing me down. It's doing some of the work for me and I like that extra assistance, like I said, if I really need to stop quick. New for 2020, we'll also get tire pressure monitoring sensors. So I can see that on the dash, I can see my tire pressure right there as I'm going down the road. So that's a great new feature for 2020. So I wanna tell you a little bit about National Indoor RV Center. We have an all-inclusive motorhome club. It's called aimclub.org. You can go to our website and I'll send a little link later to you. But this is a great um, club. We wanna be able to hang out with all of our customers. So all you have to have is a motorized coach. When you buy a coach from us, we pay your first year's dues, but we do great rallies. It's not your typical rally. We went to Savannah, Brant, Savannah, Georgia, Branson, Big Sky, Montana, Las Vegas, and we're gonna end up our year um, at the Cajun Palms Resort in Louisiana. So we have a great time, um, food, fun, uh, private entertainment for us most evenings, um, tours that we do, we just have a great time spending time with one another. If you ever worried about who you're gonna RV with, you won't have to worry about that after you come to just one of our rallies. Also, there's a lot of learning that goes on too. We um, have visitors come that give us different tech talks. Some of our own technicians will do those. Uh, just a great time is had by all, so make sure you check out aimclub.org. I try to attend all of our rallies, so I hope to see you there and we can have a great time together. So not only is this coach super easy to drive, it's nice and quiet. So I'm going down the freeway, I've got the generator on, I've got the ACs going, my front dash AC, and my decibel reader is 78.7. Pretty impressive. So come out and test drive a Dutch Star for yourself. So I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of the 2020 Newmar Dutch Star 4369 and 4081. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much do these gorgeous coaches cost? So the manufacturer only lets us tell MSRP, which is the manufacturer suggested retail price. So MSRP on the 4369 is 515, 469 and MSRP, the way that we've appointed this coach on the 4081 is 494 and $17. So, if you want to know how much I can sell you these coaches for, give me a call at 469-277-1120. Now remember, at National Indoor RV Centers, with our volume and economies of scale, coaches simply cost less. If you've enjoyed this walkthrough and want to make sure you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, please hit the like and subscribe. Make sure you go and watch my retro band video. Also, come and party with me at one of our upcoming AIM rallies. Go to aimclub.org. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.